If you've seen videos of the Brutal Doom mod and are interested in using it, don't be discouraged about the installation process. It's both quick and simple. In this video, I'm going to show you where to download the mod, where to download an updated Doom game engine, and how to marry the two in order to launch Brutal Doom. Links for everything will be provided in the description. This is the mod database, where you can download the latest Brutal Doom version. There have been many versions, and the mod is still being updated and improved. Check back here to keep your version up to date. Once you have the mod downloaded, you'll want an updated Doom engine to run it. GZ Doom is my favorite version, although there are others. GZ Doom, in my experience, runs the best and looks the best. Developers of GZ Doom will post the latest versions of their software for free on their forum. It's very straightforward. Getting the latest release is a pretty safe bet, but you can read their site for information on any differences between the versions and why some people might want a slightly different or older version as opposed to the latest one. Once you have both Brutal Doom and GZ Doom, or its equivalent, downloaded, you'll need the WAD files from a legitimate copy of Doom. Steam is as easy a place as any to find them. The best time, as always, is to buy them during a Steam sale, as they tend to get really cheap. But that being said, you won't break the bank buying them at any particular time. And you're clearly not limited to Steam. Any legitimate copy will do. This is my Doom 2 directory in Steam. As you can see, I've put the GZ Doom files in it. What we're going to do here for a quick and easy load is just drag and drop what files we want loaded onto the GZ Doom executable. This isn't very elegant, but it's also quick and no hassle. It's a simple way to try out new levels as well. Here I've got After the Holocaust, which is an exceptional level demonstrating Brutal Doom's spirit really well. I've also got the other information files to drag and drop. And what you're going to do is just drag and drop them. It'll load the launcher and you can get started playing the Brutal Doom mod. It should be obvious if it worked. The menu will be different, the difficulty settings will be different and you'll be given a, a large selection of customization options. One thing you'll definitely want to do right from the start is make sure that mouse look is enabled. You'll also want to change the controls. In this video, as you'll see shortly, the W, A, S, and D control keys were not set up, so the movement was a little sloppy. Uh, that being said, it's uh, easy to set up to your tastes. I recommend everyone do that. There are tons of options here, and there are also new controls that uh, simply weren't in place in the old Doom version, so you'll want to become acquainted with them. As you can see from the video, I didn't load after the Holocaust. This is just the first level of Doom 2. But you'll see the new features, or at least some of them, the new weapons, etc. It's an excellent mod. I hope everyone tries it if they've not tried it before. I hope this video was helpful. So again, check the description for all information, and enjoy Brutal Doom.